Your calendar is one of your most effective productivity tools. You spend an awful lot of time in here checking on meetings and events, places that you need to be as you're planning out your weeks and months ahead. So wouldn't it be helpful if you could also see the due dates of some of your Trello cards right within your calendar. If you didn't need to always open up your Trello board to see when those due dates appear. Well, I'm going to show you how to do exactly that in today's video. I'm going to be using Google Calendar for today's example, but really these steps apply to almost any online calendar. So let's head on over to our Trello board. Here you can see that I have three cards with a due date on them. And I'd like to be able to see these along with any of the cards in this board that have a due date in my calendar, whether it's happening now or whether I add a due date to some of these cards in the future. First, we need to select the menu and head on over to the power ups section. Now, you are going to need to enable the calendar power up. Now, it should be noted if you are a free or a basic user of Trello, you are only permitted one power up per board. So, you're going to need to make sure that you can access and enable the calendar power up. Once it's enabled, you will see this little gear box here. We want to click on that and we get some more calendar settings. Now, it first asks us, do we want to enable the iCalendar feed? And we want to make sure that enabled is checked. That is what we are going to be using to display these Trello due dates in our Google or our online calendars. And then below that, we have our personal iCalendar feed. And this is exactly what we're going to need to tell Google or to tell our online calendar so we can view these tasks. So simply select that link, copy it to your clipboard, and then head back on over to Google Calendar or your online application. Now, in Google, we want to select the other calendars option. And we're going to select this little arrow beside it. And we're going to say add by URL. I'm going to click on that and it is waiting for information. It is waiting for the link that we just copied over in Trello. We're going to paste it in this field. You can choose if you want to make this publicly accessible or not. I'm going to leave it as is and I'm going to select Add Calendar. And what do you know? Now we've got some due dates. Now we've got some card information. And here on the left, we see that we have a Trello calendar. So now I have those three cards displayed here within Google Calendar. Now, if I open up the card, let's see it in full. It gives us the full name, right? The full name of the front of the card. And it will always be followed in brackets by the list that it, that it is in. So that can be very helpful, even if you're glancing at it from the front. Now, some of my card names are a little bit lengthy here. I can't quite read them all. You can see that this one is in my tasks list. This one on the 21st is also my tasks list. This first one, though, I think is in my notes list. So you can identify where it is in the list. But something else that is really helpful is that you can access that card directly from your calendar. Here you can see it provides me with a link and if I click that it's going to bring me right back to my Trello board with that card open so I can access that card directly. So let's go back to our Google Calendar and see what else it does for us in our calendar. Now one drawback may be that remember every single due date in Trello needs to have a time associated with it. Trello does not give you the ability to set an all day due date. So your due dates or your cards will never appear up here. They will have to appear within a given time frame. So in this case you can see that all of their due dates are at 12 noon. That's why they are appearing here on my calendar. The other drawback maybe is that you don't get to determine the length of time, right? It's always going to show up as a one hour 
event or a, a one hour uh, meeting on your calendar. So you may want to be very particular with where or what time you select in Trello for those due dates. Do you want them to stay at 12 noon? That, that That's typically the default when you start a new board in Trello. Or do you want to see them first thing? Maybe you want to see them at 6 a.m. or 8 a.m. So they're at the beginning of your day or maybe you want to make them at 6 or 7 near the, uh, near the end of your day. Uh, or maybe they are quite specific as to when that particular task or when that project needs to be completed. But the nice thing now is that I can take a glance at all of my cards that have a due date right here within my calendar. And of course, like with anything in Google, uh, I can hide that calendar if I want, if I don't want to see my Trello due dates, and I can select it again if I want to see where they appear on my calendar. So if you use an online calendar and you have the ability to import iCal information, take advantage of the calendar uh, the calendar power up in Trello. It's very easy to enable. Uh, as you can see, not too many complicated settings. Either you've enabled it or you've disabled it. And then just copy and paste this iCalendar feed so that you can see your Trello information within your calendar. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up below and I would love to hear your feedback. What are your thoughts of having your Trello information within your calendar? Be sure to subscribe and remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.